In today's video, we're going to talk about muting a light curtain and using the PNAS multi configurator to control the muting application. Generally, there are two types of ways of, of muting a light curtain. The first way is to buy advanced light curtains. These advanced light curtains come with the muting function and, and other functions like blanking, cascading built into the light curtain. So you'd also use your muting sensors, word them back to the light curtain and use the logic inside the light curtain to control the muting function. So when the signal from the light curtain is received by the controller, the muting function is already taken care of by the, the light curtain. The second way is to buy basic light curtains. These are just standard light curtains, but they can also be used to mute uh, an application. If you had muting sensors, you could wear them all back to the PNAS Multi and let the PNAS Multi take, on, take care of the muting function. So these are the sensors that I'm going to use, the piece in OP 3.3. The emitter and the receiver is in the one housing here, and they also use the reflector. So I'm going to wear them all back to the PNAS Multi and use the logic inside the PNAS Multi to control, take care of the, the muting function. So if we open up last week's project, I'll probably need a small few more inputs and outputs. So I'm just going to add uh, a few more safe outputs to my base unit. I'm going to add an eight digital input, four digital output. This just gives me a small few more outputs. I think I might be a bit short when it comes to it. Um, so we're just going to create a second page or a fourth page even, and we're just going to call it muting. From here, we can choose, there's, an, there's a muting function element in this section. If you just drag and drop it into the middle. Um, so this lets you to lets you wear the light curtain into the block and also whatever sensors that you need as well. So it gives you three options, parallel muting, sequential, or cross muting. Um, and these can be found in the help section in the, in the PNAS multi configurator under muting it says there's three, or there's three types sequential parallel and cross and it gives us a good detail of the application of sequential muting that your muting sensor one two three and four need to be arranged in this orientation with the light curtain here in the middle our parallel muting in this in this orientation and cross muting with this one and it also gives you the steps that the muting has to take place for it to be healthy so from muting on it has to be in this order and for muting off, it has to be in this order. And it says that in any other order, the, the logic will know that it's a fault and will shut off the output. So for our application today, we're gonna to use sequential muting. Sequential muting. So it gives you one, two, three, four options for the sensors. Muting sensor one, two, this is for the light curtain, three and four, and it goes an override muting, and then there's the reset. So this is quite simple to build. Just bring in your a light curtain. Normally close into the 16 digital input. We could we could also just put it into the new ATI 40 but we have a few spare inputs, so we'll just say I9. So this goes here, and we're gonna introduce four muting sensors now. So we're gonna put them into the ATI 40 we're going to say I.O. They don't need a test pulse. That's muting sensor one. I also need to add in an override button. This is a normally open button. I can say 16 digital inputs. I'll use the test pulse, test pulse zero. And I also need to input uh, a reset button. This will be a normally open button again. And I12. So that's all I need for like four muting sensors, an override button, a reset, my light curtain. And from my output side, I can put in a relay output, single channel relay output from the muting block. I also have the option of putting in a muting lamp and I will I'll put in a semiconductor standard output 
this is just a, a lamp. Um, this, uh, this is my muting lamp. So that's my my circuit built. Um, I'm just going to tidy up and name them all just so it's a bit easier to see what each part. So I have built uh, a muting application using the muting sensor inside the, the PNAS Multi. I have one already made. I might just demonstrate, kind of show you what happens if you put on muting sensor one before three or four and just show that errors do uh, get picked up very easily by the logic. So this is a program that I made using the MM0.1P, that's the PNAS Multi Mini. Um, it's the same program I just created. Um, and I'm just going to download, I've already downloaded onto the controller. And using the dynamic program display, I can go live onto the controller just to see what's happening. So and I can see now that the light curtain is healthy, sending a healthy signal to the muting sensor. The muting block isn't active because I haven't given it a reset. So I've given it a reset now, and the output is healthy. So everything is good, and we'll say a pallet is traveling up through the conveyor, and it's just about to hit a uh, muting sensor one. So if it hits muting sensor one, then two, then three, then four, everything's okay. And if it turns off, then one, two, three, and four, you can see that the, the output stayed healthy. But if I was to go muting sensor one, two, three, and four, and then I was to turn off four first, then three, then two, then one, that the output has now gone off. So it needs a reset again. So it is quite sensitive, but it has to be. Um, so that's just a way to use muting in the PNAS multi configurator tool. Not, not having to always buy the advanced light curtain. If you already had an existing base basic light curtain, you can implement a muting function very easily with the PNAS multi configurator. So if you have any questions from today's video, just pop them in the, in the comments below.